Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna take you guys through an entire keto grocery haul. I did one of these not long ago and I got a really good response on it, so I thought I'd take you guys through a new grocery haul. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff that I implement in this grocery haul so that you guys can see exactly some different things to change it up, but you also see some of the similar stuff if you have not seen that video before. So if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now, but let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get this video underway. All right, so we got a lot of stuff to go over today, guys, but this is going to get us through two weeks of meal prepping. So you're going to see exactly what we get for my wife and I and allows us to stay consistent on our diet and stick to our meal plan. So starting off with vegetables, getting into that, we like to get Italian style vegetables. So this gives you like a mixed vegetable type. You get carrots, you're going to get some different summer squash cauliflower, a lot of different things. You can incorporate steak into this, you can incorporate other types of meat, or you can just simply have it as a side dish. So I like to get a lot of these. Um, I did also pick up broccoli steamables. Now the reason I do the broccoli like this rather than a head of broccoli is it makes it that much easier when you're meal prepping. Now don't get me wrong, I love to have regular broccoli and just cut the florets off, but it's just not as quick as doing one of these. The downside of these is you get a lot of those nasty end pieces of the broccoli, but it's okay, it gets you through it, it makes it a lot easier. And on meal prep, doing things that are easier makes it that much easier to stick to your diet. So I got four of those. Um, we did try something new this time around. We got veggie made um, rice cauliflower. The macros were actually really good on these. It was zero grams of fat, only one gram of net carb, and two grams of protein. Um, it's basically cauliflower just riced up. I could have done my own, but once again, guys, it's that easy piece that makes it that much easier to meal prep. So I'm gonna try this. Um, if you guys have tried this before though, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it. Uh, moving on to my other vegetables is we always get avocados, a great healthy source of fat. If you're on the ketogenic diet, these are a necessity to have. Um, and next is the asparagus. Due to that, it is Memorial Weekend coming up. These were on sale for $1.99 a pound, so we picked up two big heads of it. Um, I can't wait to have this. I love fresh asparagus. It's a great way to implement some different types of vegetables into the ketogenic diet. All right, next is one of the favorite things that I found recently. This is a company called La Tortilla Factory. Um, they make low carb whole wheat tortillas. So as you guys know, being on the ketogenic diet is a low carb diet. You can't have a lot of the breads, the wraps, the things of that sort. I love making tacos with 80-20 beef. So I got these so we can make actual taco shells and it's only two grams of fat. It's three grams of net carbs and five grams of protein. So this is an awesome thing to have. You guys can find one of these. Now you might not be able to find the exact same company, but as long as you can find a company that produces low carb tortillas, it's a great way to incorporate into it. You can put eggs in it, meat, whatever you choose. It allows you to kind of mix things up a little bit. All right, we also got sour cream. Um, this is really good with the tacos as well. You can put it inside the tortilla shell with the uh, meat, or you can also, there's a lot of recipes that call for sour cream on the keto diet, so this gives you just another tool resource um, to use to make a couple different recipes. Um, we got uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, I always stick to uh, Philadelphia kind. I feel like it tastes better than the normal store brand. I don't know why, it's just a preference. Uh, this is also a recipe tool or it gives you the ability to make it inside of different types of recipes. So I always like to have cream cheese on hand. Next up, we have cheese. So there's tons of different cheeses that I buy when I go. We get sliced cheese for hamburgers. That's gonna be important. Um, we also get Parmesan, and I actually have a video coming up very soon, so if you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe right now, but I have a video coming up um, that's going to make specific cheese encrusted chips, so these are really good to have, the Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese. Um, these are really good to have on hand, and then just different types. I got mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, and then we also got tomato, basil, and pepper jack sliced cheese. So get different types of cheese. Having those on hand is a necessity on the keto diet as well, um, just so you can you know include it with your eggs, you can put it on your burger, put it in your taco meat. There's just so many different things that you can do with that. So getting tons of different types of flavors of cheese is awesome. Heavy whipping cream. So we got heavy whipping cream, got the store brand. Um, heavy whipping cream is a good source of fat to put inside your coffee. There's also, again, a lot of recipes that actually call for heavy whipping cream. So that's a really good thing to have on hand. A little bit goes a long way when you're doing the heavy whipping cream, so you don't have to go out and buy a very big one. We just get through this small one. It usually gets us through two, two and a half weeks. But also pay 
pay attention to the expiration date on these. A lot of these will go ahead and they will expire really quickly at the stores because not a ton of people buy it, especially where I'm from. So I, when I'm grabbing this out of the actual fridge, I make sure that I'm pulling all the way from the back because that's where they put the ones that have the longest expiration on it. So little pro tip for you there. All right, moving on to some of the more exciting things. So meat. So starting off in the meat section, we always go for the meat sausage. It's like the kibasa sticks, but if you guys pay attention, we get the natural kind um, and it's hardwood smoked uncured kibasa. You always want to look for the uncured version, the kind that doesn't have a bunch of additive sugars into it, doesn't have a bunch of additive stuff from the company that's going to be making it. Sometimes you go to like Eckridge Farms and, and look at those and they have like six grams of carbs and a bunch of hidden sugars in the label. Even if they say zero sugars and you look in the ingredients, you'll find sugars in the ingredients. So we always stick to the natural uncured. We got uncured smoked kibasa, we got uncured turkey sausage, and uncured roasted tomato, basil, and oregano Italian style herbs. So these are very good to just cut up. You can put them inside your eggs in the morning or just, uh, just have them as a separate meal. So they're good all around to keep on hand. All right, next is ground beef. So we do ground beef. You always go for the 80-20 because it's higher in fat content. You never want to go for the lean. So I always do 80-20. I always get the three pounds of ground beef because the more the better. I can make burgers out of these. I can turn it into the taco meat. I can do so many things. And with Memorial Day weekend coming up, this is an awesome thing on hand. So if we go to a friend's house to hang out, we can actually make our own hamburgers and take it with us. It just allows you to be a little bit more consistent on your diet so that you can actually make your stuff ahead and you don't have to worry about getting into all the bad stuff that will be at the Memorial Day party. All right, so this is a little different. We don't normally get chicken just because it's been hard to find it like ways to incorporate chicken into the keto diet just because it's higher in protein and lower in fat. Um, but this week we actually picked up chicken tenderloins, um, just regular style. Um, the fat's already off of these, so that's why I really like the tenderloins. But we also picked up some coconut at the store as well. So I'm going to make coconut encrusted chicken tenderloins. So that the coconut's going to be high in fat, which is going to supplement the high protein for the actual chicken tenderloins. But there's a lot of different stuff you can do with chicken as well. You can add coconut oil. You can add Kerrygold butter to it in order to increase the fat content in it. Or just wrap it in bacon. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. The tenderloins are my favorite ones to go for. All right, you guys already know what it is. If you're on the keto diet already, bacon. We get tons of bacon. I got a total of four packages for two weeks. That usually gets us through, but we eat this thing like it's going out of style. We get the thick cut bacon, smoked, uncured bacon once again, so there's no sugars in it, no additives. Um, it's completely healthy for you and it's all natural. So these are my favorite ones to get. Just make sure you guys read the labels, make sure there's no sugar in them. Stay away from that. Even if it says zero grams of sugar in the nutrition label, sometimes you can look in the ingredients and you'll see sugars additives. So make sure you guys check your labels when you're grocery shopping. It is imperative. And if you guys aren't currently on the keto diet and you're watching this, make sure when you're at the grocery store that when you're going, it's going to, the first time it's going to take you a long time to get through the grocery store just because you're going to have to read a lot of these labels. But as you move forward, it's just going to get that much easier. Just take the time, read the labels. And then every time you go back to that store, you'll know exactly what has what in it. And it just keeps getting easier as you go along. All right, so the one thing that I get excited about in the summertime is being able to grill. I like to get tons of different stuff that I can grill. Um, my hamburgers, I like to grill hot dogs, brats, all that type of stuff. So going to Meyers Meat Market that they have inside their stores um, is absolutely imperative. I found these bratwursts that actually, uh, they're only a dollar a piece because it's on sale right now. Um, so I get a dollar for each bratwurst and it's a perfect way to meal prep, makes it really easy. I can put some sugar-free, barbecue sauce in there with it and it's really great so i got a couple different flavors i got pork italian sausage with pepper and cheese i also got just regular bratwurst and then last but not least we got the jalapeno and cheddar so these are going to be awesome to try just throw on the grill and make it easy for meal prep on the days i don't feel like spending a lot of time meal prepping all right like i mentioned to you guys before doing things on the diet that just make it easy to do so you don't have to spend a lot of time meal prepping this is another one of those things so we get bubba burgers they're really high in fat high in protein but it's literally just frozen patties that you just have to throw in a pan and literally take five minutes to make so these are impeccable to have so that you can just quickly if you're sitting there and you just have a, uh, you don't have enough time to meal prep pull one out pop it in five minutes later you have a burger or you can cook multiple of them and just meal prep for the entire week so these are really good to have if you guys want to check out the other bubba burgers they also have like cheddar that you can get um, just once again pay attention to the nutrition labels
Next we have tuna. So I always get tuna, I get the tuna in water. Now tuna is another one that's going to be higher in protein, so we gotta find ways to get fats in there. If you guys haven't already seen my video on tuna patties, I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards right now for you to check out. But even if you don't like tuna, it is an absolute amazing recipe to make. So check that out, but make sure when you're buying your tuna, you get the tuna in water, not in oil, just adds unnecessary calories and unnecessary macros that you don't need. So always stick with the in water version. Pepperoni. So I'm pretty excited about getting pepperoni this week because I actually found a recipe to make mini pizzas out of cheese and pepperoni. So I'll be making those soon and hopefully I'll make a video um, around that. If you guys want to see that video, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll make that for you guys and show you what it looks like. But we can use pepperoni for many different things. You can use it as a snack. It can just be used as something that you can put within cheese. You can add different types of flavor cheese with it. So there's a lot of different things you can do with pepperoni. Um, it's a good high source of fat as well. All right, so the last thing for me we have is chicken wings. So I always like to get these because they're really easy to take with you if you go to someone's house or if you're grilling out for the weekend. Just makes it that easy. It's kind of almost, I almost look at these as almost a cheat meal for me, but also staying clean on the keto diet. I'll go ahead and mix different seasonings in it, but I also found some Parmesan garlic seasoning that I can put on it that's really low in carbs, low in fat, low in protein. So this is another good source of protein to get, and you just mix some seasonings with it to increase the fat. We also get pork rinds. So pork rinds are really good. I also get the original because I like to make the tuna patties with this. And then I also like to get the barbecue flavored. The barbecue flavor, sometimes you gotta watch out because they'll hide the sugars and labels in these ones as well. But sometimes you can find out that they find labels that don't have it. So keep an eye out for that. But these ones give you really good flavor. You can mix this into different types of recipes or simply just weigh it out and have it as a snack. So it's nice to have around. Eggs. So you always got to pick up your eggs. You know, we get three cartons that get us through two weeks. We eat eggs pretty much every single day. They're a really good source of protein, really good source of fat. Um, make sure you guys keep these stocked all the time. You can do hard boiled eggs. You can do, you know, just eggs with yolk over easy, scrambled eggs and put cheese in it. There's just so many things that you can do with this that allow you to hit your macros um, at the end of the day if you haven't already. And also I like to have eggs after I work out. I feel like it's a really good source of fat and protein that get me through that post-workout meal. All right, so we have olives and mayo. So you guys are probably wondering how these go together. Personally for me, I love olive burgers. So I always use a little bit of mayo and a little bit of the green olives to make an olive burger. They're a great way to increase the fat if you guys want to increase it in your fat for your burgers. But if you guys don't like that, mayo can also be used for multiple different types of things. You can use it for egg salad, you can use it for deviled eggs, and you can also use it for the burgers if you decide to. Even if you don't like the olives, you can just do it with that for an extra taste flavor. Um, but it increases the fat really well in it and has low carbs. But always look for the specific ones that have low carbs because some of them will be like 10 grams of fat. In my opinion, that's a lot for just a little portion of mayo. So go ahead and look for something that's a little bit lower in fat, but has really low on the carb side. This one only has one gram of carb per serving. Perfect way to kind of balance it out a little bit. All right, last but not least is not necessarily a trade secret, but a pro tip. So when you guys are sitting at home, it's late at night, and you're like, man, I've eaten up all my macros. I'm looking at my fitness pal. I can't fit anything else in. What am I going to do? I'm hungry. I need something. So instead of going in and going over your macros, you can go ahead and just pick yourself up a Powerade Zero. I talk about these in almost every single one of my videos just because they are so key. They got the grape flavored, you can get fruit punch, you got orange flavored, blue flavored. They're all really good. But go ahead and pick yourself up the Powerade Zero. If you're sitting at home at night and you're just hungry, this is something that kind of curves your appetite and allows you to get through that hunger period and continue your fast. So I think this is absolutely impeccable to have on the diet. So we always pick up a bunch of these when we go to the store. I didn't put them all out on the table because I couldn't fit them all on there, but we picked up a bunch of them so make sure you get the power rate zero all right, so that basically wraps up the grocery haul. I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. I like to try to keep these ones short um, just so it makes it real cut to the dry. You guys can see exactly what I get. So if you guys are thinking about going the keto diet or you're already on it, this is going to be a perfect way to get started. So just take time, read the labels, pay attention to them, make sure that you're not getting the added sugars in a lot of the different types of foods, but make sure you plan before you go to the grocery store. That's one of the most important things ever. Um, I just want to shout out and say thank you guys so much for the continued support. This channel has been absolutely blown blowing up recently and I I just got to give it out to you guys. So I want to say thank you for your continued support. Thank you for following me on social media. If you aren't already following me on social media, go ahead and do so. If you guys like these types of videos, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If there's a video I haven't done yet and you would like to see, go ahead and leave that in the comment box below. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching my video and sharing it across all platforms. I look forward to seeing you guys at the very next video.